Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. up in a couple hours. Good, I'll give you a hand. Does it, Doc? That'll convince her. Turn him loose. You talk, get the horses. Good morning, Miss Peggy. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. What do you mean? I found some infected steers in a draw not far from here. Well, I don't believe you. There isn't a sick animal on my ranch. Come along and I'll show you. Well, Pancho, where are we now? You know, it's funny. I, I don't know myself. But didn't you say that you knew this country like the palm of your hand? See? And didn't you say that you knew a shortcut to San Rafael? See? Si. Well, where is it? We've been riding around in circles for hours. Are you lost? No, I ain't lost. I'm here. The road is lost. Can I help if I get all mixed up in my brains? What brains? Never mind, Pancho. Let's go this way. Yeah, but the shortcut is this way. See that swelling? That's the first symptom of the disease. I found four or five steers with the same symptom. Well, that doesn't mean that all my cattle are infected. I hope not, Miss Peggy. But meanwhile, I'll have to quarantine the entire herd to keep the disease from spreading. Quarantine or no quarantine, I'm shipping my cattle. And I'm warning you not to move a steer off your ranch until that quarantine is lifted. And I'm warning you, Doc, that whoever tries to stop me will get shot. Yeah, you're doggone right. Peggy's got a note to meet in a couple of days, and my golly, she's going to meet it. You talk too much. Maybe that's... I told you to keep your mouth shut. You're a pretty brave guy, aren't you? Is that good? You'd better leave now, Slade. Hey, thanks, mister. You're entirely welcome. You know, I could use some help. You look like a pretty handy man to have around. What about it? No, Cisco. You just hired yourself a couple of hands, miss. Hey, Cisco, why is it every time you see a pretty girl, we get into trouble? Remember that the she-male of the specimen is more deader as the male. <laughs> Never mind about your philosophy, Poncho. Let's get our horses. <laughs>
I want results, not excuses. I did what you asked me to. But that meant for those strangers. I'm me. tired of hearing about them. I can't have that girl driving her herd to the railhead. Get the sheriff and stop her. It's funny how low a man can get, Stuart. Now, here's a girl that never did me any harm at all. Yet I'm helping you to take her ranch away from her. <laughs> a self-respecting snake wouldn't have a thing to do with me. And I wouldn't blame him. Oh, stop being sorry for yourself. You're a skunk, Stuart. If I had any gumption at all, which I hadn't, I'd have a different kind of a story to tell the sheriff. Why don't you, Slade? The sheriff would just love to talk to an escaped convict. Now, get out and do as I said. What happens if the sheriff can't make that quarantine stick? Then I'll find some other way of keeping the girl from selling her herd. You sure do want that ranch bad, don't you, boss? I sure do, and I'm going to get it. Trouble, Peggy. Hold the head. Yeah. Hello, Peggy. I guess you know why I'm here. Listen to me, Jim. I've got to get my herd to the railhead, otherwise I'll lose my ranch. Yes, I know, but I've got to enforce the law. But there's nothing wrong with my cattle except, well, perhaps for the few that Slade said were infected. Maybe not, but they've all been quarantined. And the doc has sworn out a warrant, just in case. I don't want to have to put you under arrest, Peggy, so promise me you won't drive the herd to the railhead. All right, Jim. I promise. Come on, Jim. Chase him out from behind those trees. Hold the rope, Pancho. I'll bulldog him. this. I don't see something. Well, what is it? It's a swelling made by a hypodermic needle. What? Well, cattle supposed to be infected. I thought your steers looked mighty healthy, and they are. But I don't understand. 
It's an old trick they used by injecting hot paraffin under the skin to produce a swelling. Let him up, Pancho. But who would do such a thing? Maybe it was a veterinary surgeon. But why? I've never done anything to harm him. Aren't you? I think we'll have to do a little visiting. Yeah. From these kind of visits come the worst kind of headaches. the county inspector, otherwise we'd have minded our own business. Pancho don't like to take Cisco's nose in trouble. Tell me, Doc, what kind of disease is this of the Circle J? Well, it's a form of necrosis dermatitis. How you like a name like that? Uh, how the cattle cat is no crocus, uh, what you call it? Well, there are several ways. And one way is with a hypodermic needle, isn't it? This Circle J steers were injected with paraffin, and you did it. Why? Well, hurry up and talk or I'll give you this no crocus what you call over my pistola. I I I speak up. I didn't want to do it. Santa Maria, that hombre disappeared just like my cousin do when the tax collector come around. Do you know who he was, Cisco? No, Pancho. But it was someone who certainly didn't want the inspector to talk. <laughs> that inspector was just about to spill the beans out from his mouth. Now I know that Pancho will never know what he means is no crocus, what you might call it. What's going on here? Someone shot Slate through the side window. Come along. Any idea who killed him? No, but whoever did it, let him have it from the window. That's a lie, Sheriff. He's the one that shot Slade. Why? Hold it! Are you passing it? Sure, I saw him do it. Are you dirty? Shut up! Go ahead, Wiley. I was cutting through the alley when I heard Slade arguing with someone. Then as I looked through the window, I saw him draw his gun and shoot Slade. Then he took a shot at me. That's not true, Sheriff. Two shells have been fired from this gun. That is so, but I fired them by the murder. Look, mister, I'm only the sheriff. You can tell your story to the circuit judge. I'm holding you two for murder. Get going. Zico, here we are. They're all covered up like a couple of chickens in the chicken coops, ready for the frying pans, and you play around with a wire. Pancho, will you do me a favor? For you, I, I do anything in the whole world. What, what is it? Keep quiet. I'm only going by what Wiley said. I don't care what Wiley said. Cisco did not kill Slade. He had no reason to. Now look, Peggy. You look, Jim. If you weren't so blind, you could see this was a frame up. <clears throat> Here, help me stretch this out. Why? Stop asking questions and hurry up. Mother Miano, what are you going to do with this wire? I'm going fishing. Fishing? How you can go fishing in the jail? We don't got no water here, don't got no beds, don't got nothing. You'll see in a minute. It's this one, that ain't no barracudas. There were two shots fired from Cisco's gun. Slade is dead. It's up to the judge. I know all of that. But you're only going by what Wiley said. And you know what kind of a man he is. Sis, 
Frisco, you got brains. You know, Pancho, I don't know what I would do without you. I'm sorry, Peggy. My hands are tied. Not yet, but it will be soon. Get inside, quick. Lock him up, Pancho. This you don't have to ask me two times. Ah, quick, under it. I'll get you the last thing I do. You got me, didn't you? Now I got you. Now, you know just what to do? Yes, I do. Good luck. And good luck to you, too. Hurry, Pancho. What's the matter, Wiley? Nervous? Now you better talk, mister, and make it good. Why did you tell the sheriff you saw us kill the doctor? Hey, maybe he will talk for me, Cisco. Well, did you find your tongue yet? Then maybe a little piece over the ear, eh? Then over the end of the nose. Uh-uh, Pancho. First we'll drive the herd to the railhead. Yeah, but the senorita promised the sheriff she wouldn't do that. But we didn't make any promises, did we? No, but... Well, then we'll make the drive. Well, what are we going to do with him? I've got an idea. We'll take him along. Go on. Under it. Under it. Cisco, why do we have to take him along? Why don't we tie him up and hide him in the bushes somewhere? Look, Pancho. I sent Peggy to get the state cattle inspector and bring him to the railhead. I'm sure he'll want to talk to this gentleman. You mean he is tied up with his crooked quarantines? I am certain he is. Well, how I'm going to ride the herd on the cattle and on this man at the same time? We'll tie him in a wagon. Now, come on. Let's go. On a... Cisco Kid and Poncho. Where are they? Over near Medicine Flats when I saw them. You know what? They and the rest of that circle they outfit are driving the herd toward railhead. Why, Christopher, they can't do that to me. Get a posse together. your guns. Now get down. I'm sorry to have to inconvenience you again, Sheriff, but I can't have you following us. I hope you understand. Your goose is hanging high, Cisco, but mind you, I'll cut it down. <laughs> Save me a piece too when you do. Now, scatter your horses. Start walking.
I saw Cisco and Poncho driving the Circle G herd out near that... Yeah, I know about it. Yeah, but what you don't know is they've got Wiley with them. Wiley? Yeah, a rope like a hog. I saw Cisco and Poncho toss him on a wagon. Oh, this I don't like. The sheriff is out there looking for him. If Wiley talks, which he's liable to, we'll be in the soup. That's what I figured. We'll round up the boys. We'll ride out and protect our interests. Right. fast, Stuart. You're going to stay for the rest of the show. And before I get through with you, I think you're going to be the star attraction. Now get going! for your guns and I'll blow you apart. You and who else? You've been asking for this, Peggy. I'm putting you under arrest, too. What for, Sheriff? For violating the quarantine law, that's why. There can't be any quarantine on healthy cattle, Sheriff, and the Circle J herd is exactly that. I've examined them. And just who are you? Jack Henderson, state cattle inspector. Yes, I brought him here from Nassau Verde, at Cisco's suggestion. Here is the man who had slate start the force epidemic, Sheriff. He wanted the Circle J ranch for himself. That's a lie. You haven't got a thing on me. No? All right, Pancho. Well, he confessed, but he said it was you who killed Slade. It's a lie. He did it, and I... Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Stewart. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I've heard enough. Take charge of him, Bill. Get moving. Cisco, Pancho is unhappy and Pancho is tired. Our work is down here and now we can win? We can go now, Pancho. Just a minute. There's a little matter of a jailbreak. I'd like to know how you got... What fun is the matter those two? I just want to ask him how they got that keyring off my desk. 